So hello everyone, in this video we are going to see how to generate a permanent token. Just click and go to your app and you can see what's up and getting started. So if you set up your account right, so you can able to see this page right. But the thing is right, if you go to the top and see temporary access token, you can see this token will expire in 23 hours right. So if you make any application with this temporary token right you have to upload your token every 23 hours right that's why we have to generate a permanent token right so uh, so in order to generate the permanent token you can see in the left bottom right we are in the getting started page just click the configuration so after you click the configuration right you can see middle one permanent token right open in the new tab right so here they just give the overview of the you know what is that uh, business management api right they are following some steps to generate the token right to use this api you need right they are following some steps right if you have uh, this kind of page which means you completed these two steps right so you can see in the third one a uh, meta business type app that has been added to your business manager right so uh, if you click this one right uh, the meta business app type you can see create an app right so this is how we created you can see right created we, we selected business and after we uh, give the name and after we select the whatsapp and that's how we created a meta business type app right so, so i just click at your uh, business manager right i just click and open the new tab and you can see uh, for my case is already added right defaultly is already added to accounts right so so if you want to add the other account right so just click this one add the set after you click that the set you can see here in our case whatsapp account so if you haven't see your option here then only add right so if you if you can able to see your app here then no need to worry about it just leave it right so uh, so just click whatsapp and add. that's an easy step guys i don't want to confuse you guys so in order to generate the access token right so this is the only one step an access token a system uses access token created in the whatsapp business account tab of the business manager just click this one so here this is the only one step we need to uh, follow to get a permanent access token right so we can directly go click this one and set up but sometimes you may miss this kind of step you will get error in this page right then you know you must confuse right so that's why i uh, tell the these steps right so don't confuse just click this one right uh, and that will navigate to this page and this page you can see meta business help center right here first heading add system users to your business manager right here you can see in the middle of the page you can able to see add users to your business manager and you can see in the steps right step to add any system user right so you have to follow these steps to generate a token if you follow this setup you will get a permanent token right i open this one in the new tab because i am going to read the documentation and follow the documentation here so as usual i have to select my business so i can select uh, my business right so sure prasad uh, business is my name you can see after you click that one this will navigate to here the second one you can read below users click the system users so this is a users right below users the system users just click this one right that's fine so after that you can see like this is how you have to follow the documentation right so if someone developing an apa whatever the things they must have to provide the documentation read to the developers right then developers read and understand and they will create their own application right that's a procedure so don't worry about that right you can see click add new system user right so in this page right system user and here add one thing because i already created a two accounts right one is with the employee access one is with the admin access but the thing is i only can keep one land admin access right so that's why it will show kind of alert message but i just click and i will show the example right so how we will going to add this one i just click add and here i am going to give my laptop name right so thing bad so this is my favorite laptop and here system user role i select the admin and after i select this one i just click create system user i just click this one if you are new to this page you will not get this kind of error message just click ok so just click that that's it and here you can see pages at accounts catalogs apps right for so in this case we are working with apps right just click the apps and after you click the apps you can see 
this is a pms tutorial right which is one we created before right this one right pms tutorial right the name is pms tutorial you can see you have to select this one and manage app right so if you enable this one which all the things are you will give all the access to the uh, this api i mean this app right so uh, you can click save changes so in my case i already added here so don't worry about that uh, then you have to create a generate new token and here you have to select app right so in my case it's a pms tutorial is my app name and after that uh, you have to select two options right one is whatsapp business messaging another one is a whatsapp business management right remember i already ticked and so in this case if you want the other things as well you can add this one but in order to work with whatsapp api you want to have two things remember whatsapp business messaging and another one is a whatsapp business management right so two things and after that uh, you have to generate a token right so after you click the generate a token this will generating a new token right and what you have to do is just copy this one you can save it to somewhere else right so i just copy this one after i copy this one you can see i am going to the postman in the postman i am going to the environments so in the environments you can see uh, use access token right this one so here i just uh, select uh, entire thing and paste it i just paste this one yeah i paste it and now i click the serve right remember if you are doing any ch changes in the environments you have to click the serve button right so so you can see after i paste my token i open my mobile phone here so i just click the save right so i just go to the environments and i just going to send one message so this is as usual this is a hello world template right just click and check whether it's working or not yeah i can see it's working right you can see uh, using this new token i sent one hello world message right so remember after you send the hello world message if you try to send any of the other messages right so this is from the different token so i am getting the success message but i didn't receive any of the message that's because i already uh, remember in one short video you have to send one message right after that only this will work right so you can type and see this text message content right so this one body is generated so meanwhile i figured out one thing guys there are one awesome things here you can see send replay button right so I am very exciting about this send replay button right so I just show you guys if you just click the send you can see are you hungry right so if I select from my mobile yes customer selected yes you can see this is kind of pretty thing right so then if you want you can modify the messages right so will you marry me find right then you have to do your own things right so that's all guys and so if you have any doubts don't worry i will uh, replay as soon as possible so in order to support me just click the subscribe button and support my work